Eyewitness News is exposing so-called public housing high rollers. Their families living in public housing and making very comfortable income, some in the six figures. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo found these over-income families and are, and are allowed to live in public housing all because of a loophole. Once you get into public housing, you can stay in for life no matter how much your income grows. And that's despite a lot of these places, like the Philadelphia Housing Authority, have long wait lists and needy families. It mean a lot to me to have a public housing. Felicia Dickinson has been waiting on a list to get into the Philadelphia Housing Authority for more than a decade. She says she needs the assistance because it's tough raising her granddaughter in her one bedroom apartment. She's not really comfortable. I'm not really comfortable sleeping in one bed. Yeah. And she needs her own with bedroom. The Philadelphia Housing Authority says the average wait time is 12 years. What officials here did not want to tell us were the incomes of its wealthiest residents. But you might be surprised who we found living in other public apartments across our area, like in the Delaware County Housing Authority, where we discovered a family earns nearly $70,000. In the Wilmington Housing Authority, several households make more than $90,000. And in the Camden Housing Authority, we found a family has an income of over a hundred thousand dollars. Why don't you put up people that needs it in the public housing? There's a lot of people that need public housing. Many taxpayers agree. They just try to move out so the people that really need it can move in. They can't get in because there's someone making a hundred thousand dollars a year that's taking their place. It just doesn't seem right. And the federal agency that oversees public housing is called HUD. Now back in 2015, HUD said it would consider changes to make sure people living in public housing actually need the assistance. We asked HUD what's changed since then. They told us nothing, that it's still reviewing changes. In Philadelphia, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News.